Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an ESX server on 5M. Before we get started, I just want to say for this tutorial, we are going to be using the Rocket Node 5M hosting because they offer a, an amazing ESX instant deployer, which will make the process way easier. And it will be multiplayer since it's ran off a host. So if you don't already have one, Come over to rocketnode.net to their 5M page under game hosting and choose the plan that's good for your community and we shall get started. So the first thing we want to do is once you have that you want to go into your game panel like I am here and we're going to click on the server. So since this is a clean server one thing we are going to have to do is put our license key in the startup tab. So for that we're going to want to go to keymaster.5m.net right here is where we're going to be able to activate our license key let's just do this i'm terrible at these so i guess i'm a robot but once that is done if it loads of course uh, it's going to prompt us to make a key so we're going to click register display name we could put esx or whatever you want it doesn't matter you're going to want to go to console here on the host and then you're going to want to copy this front part of the IP paste there server type I always put VPS and then you're going to put rocket node as the provider for that server type VPS generate and once we are here what we're going to do once this generates of course is it's going to give us this key. We're going to copy it, go to startup, and we're going to paste it right here. Perfect. So if you want to change the server name before we begin, you could change it here to whatever you want. I'll just put cyber green. It doesn't matter. But yeah, let's start this. Make sure the base files work. And if they do, then we know we're in business. Perfect. Everything works. See how fast that was? That's because Rocket Node uses NVMe drives, so it's faster than most other providers. Anyways, let's stop. And now we're going to go on to the ESX installer. Besides ESX, you have QB Core and VMenu if you're interested in that. But we're going to click ESX for this. Click install. This is going to take a minute. Probably because it has to create the database put the files in but it's all automatic and instant Which is very good so just Let's let that load Perfect once it's installed and looks similar to this what we're gonna do is go back to the console Actually go to files make sure the files are there perfect We are going to need to replace the database string to prevent any errors so we're going to go to the databases tab click the i and we're going to copy this mysql string left click it files server.cfg scroll to the bottom and then see this everything inside here boom replaced now we should be able to start it Apparently my license key is inactive. That's surprising. Okay, I know why. So what one also thing what you're gonna need to do is get rid of keys, I believe. And put your license key in here. Okay. So yeah, now we should start it and should be good to go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Database connection established. ESX legacy loaded. Everything is good to go here. Now we are ready to connect to the server. So let's launch up 5M. See, it's, it's super easy compared to, you know, when you do it, on your own not using an installer it gets very difficult because it's going to force you to you know go through an entire you have to establish the database you have to 
you know, put all the files in one by one here. It's just one click instant and you'll be ready to go. So here we go. So to join, we are going to get that IP that is right here, including the port. We're going to copy F8 connect space and then that and enter. Of course, you can look it up on the server list, but I'm trying to make this the most efficient tutorial possible. And now we are loading into our Beast ESX server. One thing I will mention is, of course, you could put your own loading screen on and do whatever you want, but this is just what it will look like base. The Rocky Node base gives you a lot of flexibility on what you could do with it. Okay, so now we're loading in. Perfect. And here we go. We'll make a character. I don't know. Okay. And now, yeah, you're in. Look, this is your entire ESX server. You could edit whatever you want, and this is all entirely up to your disposal of what you want to do. So, hope you guys have a good one, and here was how to make an ESX server.